What is going on guys, it's Garth here from Murphy's Film and today I'm going to be teaching you how to develop C41 colour film at home with all the chemicals, everything that you need. If you can do black and white, you can do colour. Trust me, it's super easy. All you've got to do is leave it sitting in some warm water to heat up to temperature. That's it. Don't worry about it, I'll teach you step by step going through it. And just a quick side note, don't get used to this kind of quality because I'm borrowing a friend's camera while he's staying here for the weekend. It quality will go back to normal, it'll probably after a couple of videos I'm just using and abusing this camera while I've got it. So to mix all these chemicals together, it's dead, dead easy. I'll walk you through it in a sec, but I'm, at first I'm just gonna show you what you need. You need three bottles, a bit of gaffer tape just to label them what it is. One for C41, one for the C41 stabilizer, and one for the Blix. So, there's one thing that I forgot. Well, there's actually two, but that's a measuring jug which, to be honest with you, you can use any measuring jug. This is just one that I happen to have lying around, and a funnel. It's really like stuff you can find in the kitchen. So, to mix the developer, colour developer is one of the hardest bits, but it's seriously super, super easy. First thing you need to do, get your bottle for your developer, stick the funnel in. If you don't know how to do that, go away. So, for the colour developer, you have three parts. Easily labelled one, two, and three. They're all 0.2 litres each, which add up to uh, 0.6 of a litre. And then the rest, you just add water. So you just pour them in, as it says, with part one first. <laughs> so part one. And then, guess what? Color developer, part two. On the lid, it's got an easy crack for the silver bit. Part two. Make sure that you get it all out. And CD part three, color develop part three. To be honest with you, I don't even think I'm gonna use the measuring jug. CD part three, pour it in, in you go. Now as you can see, you've got just over half a bottle of color developer, but to make this proper developer, you just need to add some water. Then I'm gonna use the measuring jug. So as you can see, I'm just using normal tap water, that's all you need to do, and you just pour it in get chemical reaction going. You will get the bubbles, but that happens when you're developing with any chemicals anyway. All right, that's now done and made. Where's my lid? I've lost my lid, there's my lid. Get the lid on nice and tight and give it a shake. Make sure you get all the chemicals mixing in together. And that is your C41 developer made. All you need to do now is make the blicks and the stabiliser. So I'll show you how to do that. So for part two we're going to be putting the blicks together. There's two parts of the blicks where there's only three where there's three parts to the developer. Blicks is bleach and something else. It's bleach and fixer put together. So same again do part one as you, as you would. Part one dump it in Try not to spill this one anywhere because it is a bit of a dark colour and can stain stuff and then you will get mowed that by either your other half or parents so I'm not taking no responsibility for nothing. So part two which is the fixer, 
Same again, unscrew the lid. It's getting a bit repetitive, this, isn't it? Pour it in, bang, that's done. And same again, you just add the water. So that's two, four, so I need 800 mil. Right, so there you go, dump that in. And done, Blix is done, simple as. Four, after you've done the Blix, make sure you clean the funnel because you don't want bleach and fixer in your stabilizer. Right, so finally we're on to the easiest one which is the stabilizer. Same again, bang the funnel in. Grab your stabilizer. Rip the lid off. Pour it in. This is two litre, so you need a uh, 0.2 litre, sorry. So this is the one you need 800 ml for to make a litre dilution. Then again, bang that up. To as much as it'll go. Dump it in. If any of them are going to have more bubbles than the other, it will be the stabiliser. So you will see this bubble over. But as long as the bubbles come out, then it's nothing to worry about. Right, that's it. Actually, take the funnel out. It'll be able to go in better. Don't worry about them bubbles, they'll, they'll sort themselves out. Just pop the lid back on. And make sure you mix it. And that is as easy as it is to mix colour chemicals together. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that. That's just a quick video on how to throw them all together. You don't actually need the plastic tub. That's more for when you're actually developing it, which you will be doing a separate video on, on how to develop your own colour. But this was more of just how to mix the chemicals together. Because I know a lot of people get really intimidated by actually buying it and seeing, oh my god, there's so many different parts. But I hope this has cleared it up for you and shown you how easy it actually is. It is literally a case of put one, two, three together and add water. It's that easy. So, without any further ado, I'll let you guys go and enjoy the rest of your day. It's been Garth here from Murphy's Film. Don't forget to leave a like, a comment, a subscribe and all that good stuff. And there's an end slate bit about to come on in a sec when I go and yeah enjoy the latest video just subscribe I'll speak to you guys later in the next video peace out bye